So today, boys and girls, we are going to make a kente cloth design in Google Drawings. Now, kente refers to a Ghanaian textile made of handwoven cloth, strips of silk and cotton, and they are used to make colorful and intricate patterns using primary colors, the red, yellow, and blue, and two of the secondary colors such as orange and green, although there are times when you will see purple. Historically, the fabric was worn in a toga-like fashion by royalty among different groups of the region in Ghana. Um, in more modern times, the wearing of kente cloth has become more widespread to uh, commemorate special occasions. There are times now that we see people wearing them as academic stoles when they graduate from college or grad school. And kente patterns are known to have a wide variety of complexity with each pattern having a name or message by the weaver. So now we're gonna make some kente cloth just as a simple refresher for how to work with shapes and how to also learn about making a pattern here in Google Drawings. So a lot of these are gonna be geometric shapes. So we're actually just gonna start with doing some alternating squares that we can do some designs in. So what we're gonna, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a square and I'm gonna kind of make it big enough that it's taking up a good chunk of the top part. And I'm gonna duplicate this, so I'm gonna go to edit and duplicate. I'm gonna put that right there. I think I have enough room for one more, so once again, edit, duplicate. So I have a little extra room over here, so I'm not gonna worry too much about the fact that there's a little extra room. I can actually play with that a little later. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna select all three. I'm gonna move these over just a touch. So that way there's a little space on either side. And now I'm gonna start with changing the color. Now some of the colors that you're gonna see a lot in kente cloth are yellows, reds, blacks, blues, and greens. So you're gonna to wanna to stick with those colors. So I'm gonna do a yellow. I'm gonna make sure they're the same yellow, that's one thing. Then I'm also gonna do a red here. I'm gonna do like a deeper red. Now this, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna select all three of these, and I'm gonna duplicate this. And I'm gonna bring it down, so it's right underneath, and if it's a little off, I'm gonna fix it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna select all three, and I'm gonna duplicate it again. So that way, right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares. Now this one, this middle row, I'm gonna alternate. So I'm gonna make this middle row the yellow color. I wanna make sure it matches. Then I'm gonna make the outside the red color that I did. So as you can see, there's a bit of a pattern here going on. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and do similar patterns in at least the red sections, kind of give it a little bit of uniformity. So I'm gonna go to shapes. I'm looking actually at some of these triangle shapes because a lot of the shapes you see are very geometric. So I wanna stick with some geometric designs. I don't necessarily wanna go too much to the circles and I don't really wanna to go to too much of the crazy shapes. I wanna stick with some geometric shapes. So I'm actually gonna start with the uh, flowchart co uh, collate design right there. I'm just gonna put that in and I'm gonna duplicate this down. So edit, duplicate. I'm gonna actually make sure first I have enough room for two on here. So if I don't have enough room, I'm gonna first delete that and I'm gonna Make this guy a little bit smaller. So let's see what happens if I du duplicate that. I wanna make sure I get the sizes right first before I do anything. 
Okay, so it's a little too small, so now I'm gonna stretch each of these out. So right there, those two work very well. So I'm gonna select each of these and I'm gonna keep duplicating them so that way it fills up the space. And I see I'm hitting a point where it's gonna not really fit too much. So I'm gonna actually move this guy down I'm going to stretch it up a little bit. And then I'm going to move this down. I'm going to stretch this up a little bit. I'm going to select these and I'm going to stretch them down. So remember, we're talking about a pattern here. That's one thing you got to remember with pattern is that it is repeating over and over and over again. And you try to make it as symmetrical as possible. Think about when we did our Mary Blair designs. So now I'm going to start doing colors. So I'm going to start by doing some green with these ones because red and green complement each other very well. So I'm going to do also these ones green. Remember try and get the same green. And these middle ones I'm going to do a black color. So just like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all these hourglass shapes. I'm going to group them together. And now I'm gonna duplicate it so that way I can just click it and drag it to each of the red squares. So that way I'm not having to do it over and over and over again. And that gives me a start for my kente cloth. So as you can see, I have a pattern with the colors and I have a pattern starting with the design. Now in each of these yellow squares, I'm probably gonna do something a little bit different, but having the same design in each of the red squares kind of allows for a bit of uniformity. So now boys and girls that I have finished the red part of my kente cloth, I'm going to go back to the yellows and in each one of these sections I'm actually going to do something a little different but they're also going to be geometric. So I'm going to go to my shapes and this time I'm going to get the opposite, the flowchart um, sort design and I'm going to put that right in here. And I'm going to see how many I can get across. Maybe I can see how many I can get down. So let's just duplicate this first. And then let's select both of them. Because remember, the idea that I want to go with is I want to try and make sure that I have enough room going down and going across. So it looks like I'm a little short on room this way. So I'm actually gonna select all of these and I'm gonna stretch it out so that way it fits all the way across. Now let's see how many I have going down. So I'm not gonna do all of it. So let's go to duplicate. So it looks like I could probably do two going down if I do this size. So actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna move it down so that way there might be a little bit of yellow around this sort of design. So I'm going to move this whole thing down. So I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna move it down just a little bit. Maybe in line with where this design is and then I'm going to duplicate this whole thing and I'm gonna put it underneath. So now actually I see that I need to move it up maybe a little bit more, just like this. So now I have a little bit of room around. So now actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do these almost like alternating colors. So actually I'm gonna do like one, two, three, four, 
And I'm going to do these a darker blue. So like this color or maybe even that color. So that those two colors are the dark blue one and the dark cornflower blue one. And then I think what I'm going to do is for the opposite sides, I'm going to do green again. And I want to try and make sure I match the green that I did here. So it just needs to be a little darker. There we go. So that's just one design in the kente cloth. So now I'm going to go to the middle. And for this one, I'm actually, before I even go to any of the shapes, which you can use, like you can continue to use, I'm actually going to go to my line tool. And I'm going to use the polyline tool. And I'm going to actually zoom in so everyone can see this. So I'm going to use a polyline tool and I'm going to do a zigzag going down. So I'm going to start right up here at the edge. And I'm going to keep going down. And I'm going to try and keep it as symmetrical as possible. Obviously, it's not going to be completely perfect. But I'm going to do my best. Now, remember with the polyline tool that you need to make sure that you close it. Otherwise, it doesn't make the shape. So there we go. And I'm going to make that black. And I'm going to just stretch it up just a touch because I see it's not completely hitting. There we go. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually just duplicate this, put it right next to it, and I could change the colors if I wanted to. So maybe if this time I wanted to do red. And remember, I'm also going to change the outline too. So actually, I'm going to do a dark red again. Not that bright. It's a little too bright. And then I'm going to duplicate it one more time. So that way I have like three stripes in a way. And I'm going to make sure I even them out just a little bit more. And then this time I'm going to go back to a blue. Just like that. And now, boys and girls, this would be the time that you could fill in the last two with any other different kind of geometric designs. Remember, what you're going to be using are things that are, geomet are more with sides. So don't really do any of the circle shapes. What you want is more along the lines of, you know, the triangles or even the diamond shapes or even the trapezoid like I could use the trapezoid and just kind of do something like this and then f do a duplicate of it and flip it around kind of like this and then I'm going to select both of them and stretch it up kind of like this So I'm gonna, now I'm gonna change it up. So once again, I think I'm gonna do black for one. And I'm gonna do red for the other. So as you can see, I'm making sure that everything has like a side and it's not um, rounded shapes. So everything has corners, everything has straight edges. So that's what you need to do. So make sure you're filling in your entire kente cloth. Okay, boys and girls? I hope this is fun and informational for you.